Yes, we have two projects. And in the second project, there is one task that depends on a task in the first project. So how can we do this? How can we solve it? And it's Christian from Vision 6D. And yes, we can do that. And we are going to look now how we do it with Microsoft Project. This situation, we find it when we have several projects and there are some tasks in the second project, for example, that depends on tasks in the first project. To illustrate this, I'm going to use the construction of a mobile workbench. I built it in a really modular way. Like that, I could extend its function by modules. During the construction process, I wanted also to start some of the module because it has influences on the construction itself. So I wanted to understand this as quickly as possible. That's why I created a dependency between the construction task and the module itself. You can do with me the demo. The files you need are available on vision6d.com. So I have here the file, the project file for the basic part of the workbench. But we recognize here there is initiation in that project followed by planning. And what interests us, it's really the execution part where we build the different parts of the cart. And here, if I look down at the number 13, there is the mounting of the frames and the legs. So it's to this point that we had to go. We had to wait in the second project that everything was finished up to this point in order to start to, to look around what was possible to be done as an extension module. I have here my second file, which is the 53B. It's the construction of one of the module. It's really simplified. There are just three tasks. One is the research of the market. The second is the design and then building the module. And it's the research on the market that will start once the frame is built in the basic workbench. So those files are here. And now we are going to look how we link them. So we can start from that one or from the other one. It's totally equal. And we have to go into views. And into views here, we are going to open a new window. And in that new window, you see that we have the two files that are open. So it's really important to have those two files open. So I select both of them. And I'm going to say now, OK. It's opening a new window in which we see here that we have here on the side new icons that are showing that this is a project. And below, if I go down, I see also another icon that shows that it is a project. And also we can pay attention down to the numbering and we see that the tasks are again started from one. So this really means that this is another project. When we look at the general overview, we can recognize here the cascading shape of the first construction of the prototype. And then here, the simple part, which is the module. So we have now really a new file with those two uh, other files inside. I've selected in the first file, the task 13, which is the mounting of the frame and the legs. And what we want to say is that we want a dependency in the second project on this task, which is here. And I select research market. I mean that I want first to finish the mounting before to start the research in the market. So I'm going to link those two tasks and for that, I'm going into tasks and here I can simply link them. And we see that a link has come and is here linking the two projects. This really means that this is the way to link tasks between two different projects. 
You see also the predecessor here is named after the path and the file name. And this shows again that we have a link with another file. We are still in that new window that opened. And now we are going to look into the original files to see what happened there. So in the first file that I'm taking here, we see that here below as task 14 has come a grayed out task, which is the new one that is added from the other file. If now I double click on this to get the information, it immediately leads us to the other file where you see we have the research market design and build, which are the tasks we had. And in before has come a new task here, mount frame legs. And you see also here we have the link that is defined. And if I go on the task, uh, in over impression comes here the definition of where is that task. And it mainly says that it is defined in another file. If I go now on the predecessor here, you click on it and we'll look at what is its content. So we would have the possibility to link it with the task four and the task five. And what is interesting is here down, it's that it shows that it has a connection with an external file, an external project. The new window that we use to define the, the links, we don't need to, to keep it, so we can simply close it. And now we see that within the other files, the link is kept into the predecessor. I will ask you to pay attention to the start day of the research here. It's the 16th June. I'm going to close this file. And I'm now back to the file where we do the basic construction. And here I'm going to take our task where we mount uh, everything. And I'm going to say that for some reason it was a bit longer than expected. And we'll see what happens. So here no specific issue. You see that all the tasks were postponed, but including the task 14, which was here, part of the module, part of the other file, part of the other project. So this was moved. So now I'm going to open that file of that other project, the one which is entitled 53D. And we see here that we have an information that is telling us that something has changed that the external predecessor has been moved. So what we have to do is do we accept this change or not? And of course, I will say here, accept. With this, it's an illustration where you can understand that when you have several project managers working together, and uh, that one makes a change to his project, then the other one needs to be informed. And this is just what happened right now. To remove a link, it's uh, simple. You go on the task, you select it, and you'd simply suppress the task. Like that, the task is here removed, and we can go and check it in the other file where you see that we don't have any more that link to the task of uh, research in the market. So I kept that uh, construction file, which I named 53C master. Like that, I have an overview of the two running projects. This can be interesting to have 
uh, a view on what's going on on several projects. For example, here I could say that what I'm interested in is to see in the timeline the execution of the basic workbench and I would like to see when starts the module one and I add it also to the timeline. So like that, you can see that I can have an overview, a general overview of how several projects are going together. This is one way to, to do like a project management office. This can be done with a Microsoft Project Professional. Uh, if you have more and more projects, then you would have more and more project managers. Then it will start to be difficult to handle it in that way. And you will need to move towards uh, enterprise project management and you will go toward uh, project online and project server. This is a subject that we are going now to open in the coming videos. So we'll treat the subject of project online and project server. Well done, you've arrived to that point. So keep going learning. I'm really glad that you followed, you liked it, thumb up, share it with your friends. Comments and questions are really welcome. And I hope to see you soon. In the meantime, take care. Bye-bye.